Hi friends, this is NJ, host on this channel. So we will continue our discussion on the nakshatra number 12, the Uttara Falguni nakshatra. In this part, we will try to understand the different personality traits as it has been ascribed by our ancient sages with this particular nakshatra. So before we'll start our discussion, just a quick recap what we have studied in the introductory video. We have already discussed that this nakshatra falls into zodiac sign. One fourth of this nakshatra falls is at the end of the Leo zodiac sign and three fourth falls in the Virgo zodiac sign. The rulership of this nakshatra goes to the planet Sun. Like the way each nakshatra has got its own power. This nakshatra has got the Chhani Shakti. Chhani Shakti which means power to give fulfillment, power to give prosperity through union, through marriage. This nakshatra is seen as the star of patronage. When it comes to the deity uh, associated with this nakshatra, so the Lord Aryaman, one of the solar uh, deity, the one of the uh, 12 Adityas, who is seen as the lord of friendship, lord of hospitality, lord of favours, lord of contracts has been assigned as a presiding deity of this particular nakshatra. When it comes to the symbol, so the uh, back two legs, the hind legs of the bed or of the cot has been assigned as one symbol to this nakshatra and a fully grown fig tree has been assigned as the symbol with this Uttara Falguni nakshatra. When it comes to the, its nature and functioning, so we have discussed that this nakshatra is all about helping others, receiving help from others, the kindness, uh, the generosity, loving nature, truthfulness, good virtues, good ethics. So all the positive qualities of the sun you will find infused in this particular Uttara Falguni nakshatra. And there remains to be very less chances that this uh, regality of the sun is going to go over the top because of the intelligence being infused by the planet Mercury as well in the form of the Virgo zodiac sign because three-fourth of this nakshatra falls in the Virgo zodiac sign as well. So we have discussed all of that. Now we will continue our discussion. So when it comes to the caste assigned to this nakshatra, so the Kshatriya caste has been assigned by our ancient sages to this nakshatra. Now that could be a case just because the rulership of the sun which is a Kshatriya planet. The gender assigned to this nakshatra is of a female gender. That might be a case that three-fourth of this nakshatra's uh, domain falls in the Virgo zodiac sign which is a feminine sign. When it comes to the direction ruled by this nakshatra, this nakshatra belongs to the east direction. When it comes to the body parts and the humour, the Ayurvedic constitution, so the body parts governed by this nakshatra are lips, sexual organ and the left hand. When it comes to the humour, so this nakshatra belongs to the vata, the airy constitution. When it comes to the guna, tattva and the gana, so this nakshatra belongs to the rajasic uh, guna. The, because of the energy and the action oriented uh, personality of this Uttara Falguni nakshatra. When it comes to the tattva, this nakshatra belongs to the fire element because of the involvement and the rulership of the sun and the presiding deity Lord Aryaman. The gana of this nakshatra is of a manushya gana. When it comes to the, uh, uh, you know, the list of the auspicious and the inauspicious activities. So first of all, this nakshatra is considered as very auspicious for the marriage perspective. Like the way we have discussed in the previous nakshatra, that even the Lord Shiva's marriage procession began at the Pura Falguni nakshatra. But the marriage happened at the predominance of the Uttara Falguni nakshatra. So uh, the marriage is considered as very auspicious. Any of the uh, spiritual and the sacred activity is considered as auspicious. Any of the act of charity, philanthropy is considered as auspicious. Uh, the sexual activity is considered as auspicious just because it is a Dhruva star, it's a fixed star. So laying foundation, you know, uh, taking oath, uh, you moving into a new house, buying a property, buying clothes, buying jewellery, all of those are considered as auspicious at the predominance of this nakshatra. When it comes to the inauspicious activities, so all those acts which requires ending of something is not considered as auspicious. All those acts of, you know, which require you to be harsh, which requires you to be cruel are not considered as auspicious. And last is lending of money is not considered as auspicious at the predominance of this nakshatra. When it comes to its disposition, lunar month and the day, this nakshatra belongs to the 12th day, the Dwadashi of both the waxing and the waning phases of the moon's monthly cycle. 
the lunar month it belongs to the second half of the lunar month falgun which as per our english calendar falls in the month of the march its disposition its orientation is it is a downward looking nakshatra and it is a dhruva star fixed and a permanent star and these all are the qualities which is it infuses in the personality of someone under the influence of this nakshatra first of all person is friendly person is generous person is you know want to be of good use to the society and he remains fixed and very rigid in his all those good causes because of those uh, dhruva qualities infused by this nakshatra when it comes to its sexual type and the gotra this nakshatra belongs to the sage pulasthya gotra and its sexual type is of a male cow when it comes to the profession and the places being governed by uttara falguni nakshatra so all of those profession of entertainment media even the astrologer all those people who are in a charity business in the philanthropy business the counselors uh, people working as a international diplomat working in the un working in government jobs will come under the purview of this uttara falguni nakshatra when it comes to the places being governed by this nakshatra so the you know the the gardens the forest the uh, places where all the rich and the top notch people live will come under the purview of this nakshatra even the uh, houses of the diplomats uh, you know the chief ministers top uh, politicians all of that will come under the purview of this uttara falguni nakshatra so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the second part on this uttara falguni nakshatra in the last video we will try to understand the different layers influence and the behavior of the planets in the different padas charans of this nakshatra and the list of remedial measures which an individual can think of opting in order to strengthen the influences and the signification of this particular nakshatra so this is all what i wanted to say as my take on the second part on this uttara falguni nakshatra i hope you guys found my this video informational for further more updates and notification on astrology please subscribe my channel and like my facebook page thanks chidanand roopa shivo